Futurama is back. And I'm really not sure how I felt about the first episode. Let's talk about it. <laughs> I don't know who or what I am anymore. Hey guys, Mike here. Welcome back to my channel for more pop culture and Futurama content. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get into it. So if you've been tuning into my channel for a while, you'll know I'm a big Futurama fan. I spoke last week about how I was excited about the new episodes of Futurama that were starting up. And I watched the season premiere of this new season of the show. And guys, I gotta say, I was really disappointed by it. <laughs> it's cute how bad they suck. To be honest, this was probably one of the worst episodes of the show that I can remember. And it kind of makes me think back and realize that a lot of the newer Futurama episodes are kind of forgettable. And even though I'm a huge fan of this show, I love its legacy and I think it's really important that it's still here. I'm just cautious that maybe it's just not what I want it to be. And I think I actually know the reason why. In this episode, Futurama looks at the concept of NFTs. Of course, a futuristic thing in our present times that are like non-fungible tokens and are very controversial because a lot of people think that just like owning a picture or a, the rights to a picture or whatever an NFT is. Seriously, I have no f***ing idea what an NFT is. Can someone please explain to me what these things are? A lot of people think that's really stupid and worthless and useless. And of course, Futurama has decided to send up like the idea of NFTs in this episode. But here's the thing about NFTs and Futurama. You see, like Futurama, especially like the, the most recent seasons, they always seem to try to satirize like a current day technology. Like even going back to the original revival, there was an episode with like iPhones and last season they did a cryptocurrency based episode and now obviously NFTs. But I don't think episodes like this really work. And put aside the fact that like NFTs to me in 2024 already feel like very relevant. They already feel like no one's really talking about them anymore. Like everyone was talking about them for like a few months. And like now I think everyone's sort of over the fad or the phase of NFTs. So already conceptually, it feels outdated. Not to mention the fact that like, why would they be talking about NFTs all the way in like the year 3000, a thousand years from now in the context of the episode? <gasps> Bender with sombrero just sold for one cent. That's cause I bought it, you know to trick suckers into thinking is valuable. And I realize there are like production and development times that would have affected like the relevance of this. It's perfectly reasonable to think that this episode might've been written like a year ago when NFTs were still kind of relevant and then only like finished like the animation and voice acting and everything like that recently. Because of course, cartoon development time is really, really long. Like it can take months. Unless you're South Park, which only takes six days, but that's another story. The thing is to me, Futurama was was always at its best, not when it was trying to send up or satirize current day events. In fact, to me, that's almost like the opposite of what the show thrived on back in its original days. To me, where Futurama excels is in its more speculative kind of concept. It's futurism and its speculation on what things could be in the future, not doing a take on something that is currently a real thing and what would that be like in a thousand years? What matters is we heisted Bender's NFT. And that's why this NFT episode just doesn't really hit. Yeah, like I laughed a few times and Bender going back to Mexico and like meeting his family was like kind of interesting, but generally speaking, the concept just isn't good. I want to see these characters have wacky adventures in space and in the future and see ideas and concepts of what things could be like in the future. I find it very erotic. Very quickly while I've got you, only a few people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you watch them and you like them, please hit that subscribe button. That's all. In my last video, I talked about a few examples of this, like Fry downloading Lucy Liu's consciousness into a robot and dating her, advertisements being beamed into people's dreams. But there are so many other sci-fi concepts that Futurama explored, like the idea of human and robot relationships, intergalactic warfare, even like the future of Christmas, which was really original. Play Santa again, and I'll kill you next year. Ideas like this NFT episode just don't hit 
at all. They're disappointing and they make me genuinely feel concerned about the direction of this show. I really hope Futurama can return to like the cutting edge satire and send up of science fiction and explore like more general futuristic ideas, not just taking ideas from the present and turning them into what would this be like in Futurama world? Because that kind of topical trending content is not what made Futurama's legacy. Whoa, a real live robot. Or is that some kind of cheesy New Year's costume? What made Futurama's legacy was intelligent, funny, and fun speculation of what the year 3000 could look like. And that's what I'm hoping to see more of this season. Ooh, thank you so much for watching guys another video let me know in the comments what did you think of this episode of Futurama maybe you had different thoughts to me maybe you didn't and what's your favorite episode of Futurama I'll leave mine in the comments below you leave yours too hit the subscribe button for more pop culture content more Futurama content more cartoon content all of that and support me on Patreon if you've got a couple bucks to spare and you enjoy watching my videos uh, please support me on Patreon it's the best way to get around me and there is a bunch of uh, exclusive content on the Patreon just for Patreons. I am all over the internet doing cool stuff that I think is cool and you might also think is cool. So join me. There's a link tree link to like all of my stuff there and I'd love for you to check it all out. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name's Radio Mike. This has been the Inside of My Mind and I'll catch you later.